world market. You can't see it, but there is something pretty remarkable happening inside one of the restaurants there. That's right. The owners say the goal is to create a sustainable future for the planet by reducing our carbon footprint. Well, as part of this week's Earth Day Everyday Series, I have a special Earth Day Eats for you this morning. I'm showing you how Gather in Omaha is providing the freshest farm to table produce one green at a time. Gather in Omaha is known for two things. It's urban chic dining experience. We are definitely one of a kind place for sure. And just one floor below, it's urban farm. We have arugula, basil, mustard greens, romaine, premium mixes, bok choy, anything you could imagine. It's a farm with a mission. Rather than relying on farms that could be up to 1,500 miles away to source some of the greens, we're able to source it just down one flight of stairs and have it as fresh as can be. It's called a hydroponic vertical farm. There are many like it. We're the first one to combine it with the restaurant itself. Their greens are grown in nutrient-rich water. Farm manager Mitchell Yost explains. Typically, this is 30 gallon reservoir down here. Pump activates and it brings the water all the way to the top. As the water makes its way back down, it splits into each section, eventually refilling the bait. After which, repeats the cycle. On average, with traditional farming methods, it takes about 36 gallons of water to produce one pound of produce. Uh, using these, this type of method, we're able to save 95% of that water. Other benefits? There's no soil, no shipping, and because this is a controlled environment, no need for chemicals or pesticides. And this produce can be grown year-round. But Mitchell says the greatest perk for customers... So this is farm fresh fresh as it gets is the taste oh wow it's delicious that's sets it apart from everybody else in Omaha I met up with gather chef Tony Faulkner upstairs first time I tried the greens downstairs it was just mind-blowing I, I, I had never even tried anything like it he takes pride in using their farm fresh ingredients and showed me how he incorporates their greens into some of gather in Omaha's favorite meals for starters, the roasted baby carrots appetizer. It highlights the farm's fresh arugula. So with this one, there are quite a few sweet components. Like their cashew cheese, house sauce, pistachio chutney, and... This is our spiced honey. This smells so good already. Very fresh filling. A lot of people order this as a meal. This is their pan-seared miso salmon. We do serve our salmon with skin on. That just keeps the uh, salmon moist and helps it just retain its... Uh, is that a pro oh. tip from Chef Tony? Yes. And there's the salmon, just the way it's intended to be done, right? Skin up. The salmon's coated with miso butter and features the farm's bok choy and mustard greens, along with their Sea Island peas. Last but not least, a gather favorite. I believe we are only keep around here at the time to do bison steaks. The red wine marinated bison. After it's smoked and grilled, it's coated in herb butter. It's served with medallion sweet potatoes, pickled beets, and broccolini. Oh, wow. The farm freshness can't be denied. After this, I like, I want my own, like, gather arugula. Seriously. Yes. It's that good. Okay, we have to move on, but I just want one more bite. I tried the miso salmon, too. I'm excited about the mustard greens. I like the arugula, they're just so fresh. They just burst in your mouth with flavor. It's nothing like I've never tasted. I should get ready for a mouth-bursting bite here. Is yes. that what you're telling me? You were right. As for that bison. That's awesome. Awesome for customers. I challenge anybody, anybody out there, try upstairs to see what real farm fresh tastes like. And Mother Earth that can make a dent in making sure that we're contributing to the environment. He, he challenged us, right? So Gather in Omaha is at 11th and Howard. It's open every evening at 5. To see the full menu, just go to gatheromaha.com. 
Their urban farm produces about 3,000 pounds of produce wow. every year. It's actually more than the restaurant needs. So they do package their fresh greens and sell them. You can buy them at the restaurant or at Walner's grocery store in Midtown. Okay. Um, and what's so cool is if you if you're dining there, you can actually go downstairs <gasps> oh. and view the farm because it's really cool to yeah. take in. Yeah, just the footage you got from down there. I said, oh, that looks awesome. Isn't that, that unique? Looks so cool. Yeah, and it they does. sell some of the greens. Um, wow. Some of the local restaurants like Godega. Um, Coneflower Creamery oh. uses some of the basil in their special ice oh, cream sometimes. Sense. So it's okay. just, yeah. Oh, oh neat. Wow. You can taste the freshness. I gotta go try that sandwich. I was gonna say, that yeah. That looked delicious. It is delicious. I've, I've is walked delicious. by it so many mm -hmm. times, so I'm gonna have to get, get in there. Gather and yourself inside. Tell them Cerise Cole sent me.